Hi guys, welcome back to another episode on my tiny little channel, my TLC, which is also known as Tender Love and Care. So I guess you would say this is TLC from me to you. If it's your first time on my Instagram or my YouTube, wherever you may be watching this from, please remember to hit that like button, double tap on this video, leave a comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hit that notification bell so that every time I upload an episode, you get a little ping. Oh, actually, before we go any further, I want you guys to check out this athleisure I'm wearing. This is a... <laughs> I'll probably do this a nice back and forth for you. I mean, a nice twirl for you guys after I'm done shooting this episode. Yeah, that's not going to work. No. Uh, and this is an Adidas. And it also comes with a jacket, which is really cool. I've been wearing this today. It's already like going to 3 p.m. over here in our Nairobi. But I didn't feel like getting like getting into jeans or top or whatever, whatever. I just want to wear something cozy that I can go to the supermarket with. And I'm feeling this, you guys. I'll leave the details of his page over here. <coughs> he has other ones like guys, I don't know football teams, do Real Madrid, Rewards, Re if uh not the Spanish ones. I don't know. So today guys, I'm talking about vision boards. Um, I know a lot of people bring out content about vision boards very early on in the year. But the reason I wanted to do this at this particular time is to... My target is to those people who, um, who are a bit skeptical about vision boards who have created vision boards before and their vision boards have quote-unquote failed or they feel like their vision boards haven't worked or you know it's like okay I don't get the hype around this thing because I've not been able to accomplish anything and be, and also because vision boards are things you can start or create at any point of the year it's not something that you necessarily have to do in January at the beginning of the year although it's good if you have something at the beginning of the year because there's this like it's called the fresh start effect so whenever you will start things like on a monday or at the beginning of the month or at the beginning of the year you get at least a lot of momentum to keep at them until the end actually for this particular episode i had to take down some notes this is actually the second time i'm shooting the vision board episode i shot this about a month ago but i wasn't happy in how i brought out the message and i was like i need to shoot this again and really um, gather my thoughts down now I've come from a place where vision boards for me I was just like I got to a point where I was just rolling my eyes whenever I used to see people doing videos about vision boards because I'm just like yeah but like no I don't think they work for me and here's 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 my story I've come from a place where I did I did the vision boards and then I just completely hated the idea of vision boards. I had to tear up my vision board and throw it away and I never created another vision board ever again for myself until 2020 coming into 2021 and we're halfway almost halfway through the year of 2021 and I feel like I'm looking I'm looking this way at my vision board because it's on this side of my of where I'm shooting, right? <clears throat> but like it's a completely different experience I'm having now and a lot of the things in my vision board I feel like are coming into fruition or manifestation and, and those that are not they are slowly I can feel the dots I'm, I can feel like the dots are joining and it's going to come to pass so my first vision board I went on Google um, looked at pictures or, or, or divided my divided my vision or my aspirations into three categories happiness happiness health and wealth and then i went online <clears throat> and looked for images that matched things that represent happiness for me images that represent health and images that represent wealth once i found those images i printed them out on a nice printer <coughs> on my office <coughs> office printer where I used to work, sorry. I printed them out and then I cut them out and stuck them up on a huge manila paper and I put that up um, in my room, on that, this other room. <clears throat> and 
you know, I put them up and I was like, okay, sign your oh my god, yay. But then a year or a year and a half later, I think it was maybe even two years later, I took out that we took down that vision board and just rolled it up and hid it. And I was like, I don't want to ever see this fucking vision board again. And the reason I had this negative feelings towards my vision board is because I wanted those things in my life so badly and they were nowhere near close to manifesting into my life. I just had such a negative reaction when I would see the things that I wanted for myself, like an annual international holiday, you know, preferably somewhere in Europe, or, oh, let me tell you, the kind of relationship I wanted, romantic relationship I wanted. I remember I'd put like a cutout of a guy, a silhouette, and then I'd say, I'd written the attributes that I want loving kind great smile good sense of humor affectionate da, 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 da. but at the time when i was taking that down i was still single and i was just like ah i'm just so done with this i had such a negative negative reaction towards my vision board but now when i look at my vision board i'm just like oh you know i don't have a negative reaction let me just start this video with the conclusion which is the points or the lessons I've learned between vision board A and vision board B. The first one is let your goals be believable or at least believable to a certain extent to you. I know they say that we should dream big and in fact there's a saying that there's a, there's a quote, a very famous quote, I don't know who said it, that says dream so big, reach for the stars so that if you fall, you at least fall like on the sky and not like on the ground something like that um and that's exactly what i did when i was creating my vision board i created this very elaborate vision board with things that i wanted that were very very big not that they were unachievable but i mean they were just very very big you know the kind of cars i want to drive the cars i want to buy for my family members i was like oh this is mom's car and this is dad's car and this is the kind of money i want to be making per month and this 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 these were very 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 big goals um but the thing is they were not believable to me even to me in my psychology i was like i these are things maybe for in the next 15 30 years not in the next five years so whenever I looked at my vision board, it was such a thing that's going to happen in the future. I wasn't looking at it in terms of how can it happen in my life now, okay? So by virtue of that, even with the whole knowledge we all have about manifestation, if you look at something and it's con you're constantly visualizing about it being later, 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 it continues to stay in the later. If you're not able to align yourself with kind of like that vibration of it happening into your current life my disclaimer i have to say something about manifestation um i don't know what people talk about when they talk about manifestation but that is on purpose i purposefully have been removing myself or, or, or avoiding videos about how to manifest your dream house how to manifest ten thousand dollars a month how to manifest how to manifest i don't like and it's a trend now. I don't. I, I don't want to. F I, I don't watch those videos because I'm avoiding getting into that whole manifestation when uh, this idea of manifestation in the way it's currently being referred to as very like you know pop culture or whatever. Because I feel like when things become so mainstream, there's a lot that's lost, um, for lack of a better word, in translation. So by making your dreams believable, which is my first point. I would say my advice to you for people who have had vision boards and they haven't come to pass and you've kind of had the same experience as me where you look at your vision board and you're just like these are just wishful thinking things maybe your visions or your your uh, your the things you want to manifest for you at that point in time when you look at them they are way too big for you now when I tell you to funnel down I'm not saying that you don't believe they can't happen no not to say that it's not achievable but if something in your mind comes with more doubt than optimism I would say reduce the goal or the aspiration to the point where the the positive feeling is bigger than the doubt which is the negative feeling remember that with all these changes you're making or any change you're making towards your vision board the goal is one thing the goal is to have a positive feeling when you look or interact with your vision board i didn't have that 
I initially did. There was excitement. I was like, oh, it looks so nice. This is my vision board A, the old one. But then over time, I didn't have a positive feeling when I looked at my vision board. I just felt like, oh my God, I'm such a failure. At the end of the day, how you feel towards your vision board should be positive. Your experience when you're interacting with your vision board has to be positive. In fact, one of the things that I didn't put down here is go general rather than very, very, very specific. And that is uh, 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 something that not everyone needs to adopt, but I think some people need to because you might not know exactly what you want, but you know what you want to feel. I want to feel happy. I want to feel loved. I want to feel secure, the feeling of financial security. How does that look visually? Ideally, that's like the core basic principle. The other thing is um, your vision board. Your vision board should look like your vision board. It should look like you and not your idols's. Your vision board should not look like Julia's vision board. Like, oh my God, look how she has was so cute and she arranged this and she had pictures from like Vogue and from such and such. Even me, I should get that Z. If for you, your vision board looks as basic. In fact, mine is very basic, okay? I'd say make it look like yours. Um, some, a lot of the examples we have in the, of the, on the internet are vision boards of people who live a Western lifestyle. You know, so maybe me, my vision is just to have, <laughs> to be able to go to, to Mombasa every year. And that for me is achievable. I don't have it in my life, but I feel like it's something I can do, but I don't know, I don't have the money or the means for now. So then put a picture of Mombasa. You don't have to put a picture of Bora Bora or the Maldives, you know, if Maldives gives you resistance. In fact, what I'm trying to say is if you feel resistance when you look at your vision board, you need to change something another thing is um funnel down which i already touched on on the first point which is to start small if vision boards if um if you uh, if you have a more skeptical disposition like i do i'd say start small uh, start small and go as general as possible what i've done for example for fin my financial goals my how i went general was rather than saying I want this amount by this date, you know, da, 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 da. I said I want an influx of money and then I want a flow, a, of course, a stream of money, not this one of one month you're making 400k, one month you're making 100k, one month you're making 50, the other one you're making seven, so you know what I mean? I want stability because I've grown up, thank God, I've grown up with stability in my life. Now me, me having so like um, <laughs> decided to take this path of creativity or this artist's path it does come with some level of imbalance and security but because i know there are people out there who are able to live the lifestyle that i'm living now with stability that is what i'm um that is what i'm gunning for by saying i want influx and i want flow now in between there i put an amount that i want per month for now that will make me comfortable very knowing very well that once i'm able to achieve that goal then i can now set it set the goal bigger to the original original goal of vision board one um because because now i feel i i have the accomplishment uh and i'm able to say yes i was able to achieve this therefore this other one is also doable okay some of us don't even know how to create a vision board or where to get the pictures from now i've seen some people this is how some people do vision boards which kind of confuses me so i don't know how if there's different styles of doing it i've seen some people just go get like 30 magazines and then they flip through them and if anything they like jumps at them they cut it and put it on the vision board i'm not able to do that so i don't know how people do their vision boards by just flipping through magazines and cutting i'm sure maybe, maybe there's some more thought that goes into that but because i'm quite an organized person i like to know I need to know the why of what I'm doing, what I'm doing, by the way, you guys. Even in social media, if you guys remember, just before Corona, before I became very serious with content creation, I used to post on IG like once in a month. If you're lucky, you'll get two to three posts a month. And that was very normal for me um, because I'm like, I'm influencing for what? What am I influencing? Do you understand? I want the content I put out there is valuable. I'm not just trying to influence you. I'm trying to add value to your life. So once I was able to refine what I wanted, I was able to look more influencer-like. Even though I don't really identify as an influencer, I identify as a content creator. So you need to know and to understand what you, why the image you're putting there is there. You, you know what I mean? Um, 
and if you're confused about what images to use i would say don't even use google use pinterest use pinterest use pinterest because with pinterest i was able to i was able the first time i didn't use pinterest um of the, my old vision boards i just used to use google now with this vision board i used pinterest pinterest has such they're 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 their search engine is very good this time round i went on pinterest got all my images in on boards and then i went on canva and you can use canva for free um, i love canva and i love the philosophy behind canva and i love the creator of canva the woman who created canva i listened to her story um some months ago on on on, on a podcast and so once i go on canva, canva then i select a customized page which is an a4 and I put all my images there, arranging them how I want. Because with Canva, you can you can move around the images, you know. So you can make it look cool and creative. And then when that's done, that's what I printed out as my vision board. So right now my vision board is on an A4, whereas before it was on this huge Manila. Doesn't matter, whatever works for you. But I just wanted something that I can also save on my phone that i can go looking at from time to time to re refresh my memory now the last point is the most important point honestly <laughs> and i wrote it here in the most abstract of ways and i just said get some constant flow of joy in your life whatever that looks like to you for example if petting your dog makes you feel good do it every day if taking a walk makes you feel good do it every day if sharing a cup of tea with your mom over the phone or face to face or yeah using video call facetime whatever do it those things that make you feel joy and nourish your soul don't second guess them okay so if you feel good you might not be thinking about the car you want okay you might not be thinking about the car you want but you're feeling so good about something else which is in alignment with so many things that you want including the car and it allows the things that you want in your life to flow into your life so find a constant stream of joy if waking up and meditating every day taking a walk n avoiding um over over indulgence of alcohol makes you generally feel better don't ignore those like intuitive nudges you have to do those things that make you feel good the most important thing is how you feel towards your vision board now you need to interact with your vision board as often as possible i do it i try to do it at least three times a week where i sit and look at each individual item that i want to achieve um, and with very little judgment look at how far i've come from or, or how much i've achieved or how much that thing i want has come into my life if it hasn't come i just try and say you know what i must trust that it's there because if god has given me a desire surely he has given me this the, the capacity to achieve that thing that i want to achieve because these things that i want to achieve now they are still on the way to the big thing i wanted that that desire i had has not gone it can first of all if you want something it's impossible for you to not want it you can decide to numb the feeling or to make it a dormant desire but if you've desired something it is always going to be your desire in fact it becomes a burden when you're not able to achieve it so how about finding ways to let those things happen in your life come into your life with a little bit more ease and that is really the purpose of this video and what we're doing here today and i think that is the end of my vision board talk i hope this video has helped you i'm going to show you my vision board so you guys can see a little bit of it i won't show you everything because there's some personal items there okay y'all so this is my vision board um so these are like my financial goals which like i said earlier influx and flow um with the amount of money i have wanted to come into my account every month um this is something else i've been wanting to do more often which is giving daily gratitude and giving thanks um, because gratitude is a huge part of of um, you know things flowing into your life excuse me um, 12 books I said this year I'm going to read a book every month I know you can read more than 12 books a year but I had so many open books last year that I didn't finish so I was like this time I have to finish at least 12 of them and I'm already I am on my I've done a book every month basically and I've never been able to do that before uh, meditate more which is what this is um, this is just basically me achieving my goals 
I want to spend more time with my pets. I want to do 10,000 steps a day. I've still not been able to achieve that. Uh, I want to paint again. And this is just, these are my gifts. <laughs> my gifts, which I was told are my gifts because I went to this psychic medium or I sought the services of a, a, a medium. Um, and he told me that my, according to my spirit guides and God and whatever, these are my gifts. So I blew that up over here. Expression, communication, understanding, organizing, clear audience, and empathy or being an empath. This is a quote that I had Oprah. This is Oprah's prayer every time before she went on stage that I decided to also put next to my vision board so I can also utilize it in my life. It says, use me, God. Show me how to take who I am, who I want to be, and what I can do, and use me for a purpose, a purpose greater than myself. Um, yeah, and then this is just, I wanted to journal more and meditate more. So rather than saying every day I have to journal and meditate, I was like, let me just split it up. I don't have to do it every single day. So I split it up this way. Um, and this is a money chant. If you guys want to do this money chant, please let me know in the comment section and I'll share to you the link of this money chant, which I do every other day. And honestly, I feel like it has allowed this to happen for me. So I do that every day. And um, yeah, so that's my vision board. And just take you back here. As you can see, it's quite general. My vision board before was so specific, like I want this relationship by this time. But in general, I want happiness. I want acceptance. I want a sense of community. And that's basically what I did up there with spending more time with family, um, getting more qu quality relationships rather than quantity. And that's what makes me happy as an individual. So when I seek that out, whatever relationships come, as long as I'm able to get that feeling, that's enough for me. And going general, like I said, has worked for me. Sometimes when you get so specific, you get lost in the detail. Um, so I'd encourage some of you to go a bit more general. What do you want by saying, okay, I want to become a successful this. Why do you want a thousand dollars a month or ten or five thousand dollars a month? Why? Because you want to live the life you want. Because you want to be able to afford medical care. You want to be able to um, support your family financially, your siblings, your sisters, your cousins. Because you want to to be able to travel and hang out with the people who you find are aspirational. That's the real reason behind. So look for things in your goals or in your vision board that are aligned to that desire and not necessarily the amount. I feel that helps you get things. Um, it helps you achieve things more. And that's it, guys. Trust the process. Um, do things every day that take you closer and closer to your maker because as much as you're creating the life you want, the ultimate creator is the creator. So include him in your plans or it or the energy or the universe, whatever you call your higher power. And I think everything will be great. If you've enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please leave a comment on what you think about the whole idea of vision boards. And if you've enjoyed this, please let me know what you've liked in the video and what you want to see more of. And um, maybe we can catch up in at the end of the year to see how our vision boards are going okay guys thank you for watching adios and happy creation and happy life and happy vision board day and deuces i'll see you back here next time bye